hello and welcome to the channel and you're most welcome to join our merry throng uh, this video is about SSTV receive uh, the reason for the video is it's September 23 later this month there are meant to be some transmissions from the International Space Station which will allow you to receive images uh, from the ISS uh, and this is just to start preparing uh, that process so I've blown the dust off my SSTV uh, this is uh, a video on how to set up uh, your own SSTV uh, station uh, we're commencing with receive very easy to receive if you just want to receive images uh, that's no problem whatsoever and then a follow-on video shows the slightly more complex uh, transmission uh, which again isn't too hard it's just one of those things once you get back into it uh, it's fairly fairly straightforward hope you enjoy the video and let's get on with uh, looking out to receive SSTV images so to start with we need to download the uh, software which is MM SSTV and if you do a search uh, these are the two main results you'll get that's the original software uh, it's all it's all quite dated now it's from 2010 uh, but still works fine that's original that's a slightly amended version a bit more modernized uh, that Yonic version but uh, for this demonstration we're going for this one so we go to that website uh, and this is where you can download now don't fall into the trap of clicking on the first thing you see that says download there's one there uh, and there's another one at the bottom they're just adverts for something else so as with all websites check its validity uh, before you start downloading things uh, and read read the instructions so down here we scroll down uh, there is the actual download mmsstv 113a uh, and uh, like i say at the time of this video in 2023 uh, that's the current version so once you've downloaded the software it'll uh, go through the, the usual wizard for an install uh, it's fairly straightforward uh, and now this video assumes i'll just cancel that this video assumes you know about how to set up your sound card your device drivers com ports and so on so if you're if you're a digital mode user ft8 uh, or anything like that you'll have that uh, already set up um, this, this video is not how to configure the, the many, many permutations of rigs, uh, PCs and sound devices. So for this video, I've got uh, my FTDX 5000 running through a Yesu uh, sound card uh, external to the rig, which is an SCU17, uh, fairly common for, for the older Yesu rigs. If you've got a more modern rig with a built-in sound card, all the better. Uh, that's one less bit of kit to worry about so here you can see while I've been talking the software has been chugging away in the background um, it's fairly easy for receive uh, ignore this for the moment down here we've got templates uh, and we've got uh, uh, pictures stock pictures stock templates uh, this is all to do with transmit for receive if we go up into options and set up just move it up a smidge uh, on this actual rx tab uh, there's nothing on there you need to change we're not concerned with tx at the moment in misc this is where you need to set up your uh, sound card inputs and outputs so here you can see i've got the uh, what i've called the ftdx 5000 the input the microphone uh, and the output uh, speakers uh, and for transmission on here you'll also see which we'll come on to uh, later uh, a history uh, uh, tab uh, so you can select uh, the amount of images the software will store and that's a very a very binary sequence isn't it but i think the default it's set to is 32 so we've got the sound card set up uh, and and that's basically about it so the main frequency for a lot of SSTV uh, activity is on the 20 meter band 14.230 which is what we're on now so I turn the volume up and 
nothing going on at the moment. I'll leave that turned down. That was the last image uh, that came through. So just to explain some of the basics of this screen, uh, this is a live uh, uh, indicator of the image. So when we see an image come through, you'll see a peak here. Uh, this is a, a pulse uh, setting uh, basically to allow the software to uh, synchronize and download. And these two bars uh, mark the upper and lower limits of uh, the signal. There was a hint of a signal came through there. Uh, this will go green. Now uh, again if you're used to other digital modes and sound cards you need to adjust your receive uh, on your uh, device to get this to come in green when an image comes through. If it's ready to overloading and if it's grey like that there's generally no signal or you've got the volume too low. There's a very very faint one there. It's struggling with that one. So the images will auto load down here. Uh, you can save images if you, that is a particularly good one, if you want to save an image, if you hover over the image itself, right click, and then we've got save to file. So you, like any other thing on your PC, you can save it. So here we've got that image coming through again. Uh, so you can see the signal, I can adjust that uh, on my uh, interface unit so I can increase I won't drop it right down if I drop it right down we we'll lose the image uh, but you can see the image coming through there and that's the sound of SSTV so if you're off frequency there you can see the pulse as well if you're off frequency that, that tone will change you'll soon get used to that tone uh, and know how to tune in uh, but you can use these features here up on this display to tune in as well. History, um, if we go under the history tab, this automatically keeps, as we saw in that setup option, keeps all the images that you've downloaded. Some are better than others. And it'll, it'll chug away uh, collecting images uh, until you uh, stop it basically so it can just tick over in the background uh, again as I said you can save images uh, and uh, take them off off the system and store them on your computer so on receive you can auto stop auto start auto resync auto clear so that's what clears out that image uh, ready for the next one to come down here you can see the modes these vary, uh, there's some popular ones, Scotty and Martin, uh, and some less popular ones. They have, uh, as I understand it, different merits in terms of signal quality and l length of transmission. Uh, but if you leave it on auto, which is what it defaults to, uh, that will automatically select the mode. So as, as somebody starts transmitting, part of the transmission is the mode code, uh, and then the, uh, the software knows how to uh, decode. Um, so that's about it really. Uh, it's as simple as that on receive. Um, so get your sound card ready as you would for any other software um, digital mode and also uh, download the MMSS TV. Here we are version 1.13a. Uh, those settings on that tab there and that is literally it for receive uh, and the, the system will keep receiving as long as you're on the frequency adjust the, uh, the, the receive strength accordingly so well, next video will be transmitting uh, there's a lot more to transmitting than receiving uh, but it was a good first step and this will build up your confidence in using the software as well so as well as the follow on video, if you like and subscribe to the channel, if you subscribe, tick the bell and you'll be notified of new videos as well. Be much appreciated. 73.